Numbers 13. Numbers 13. If you have it, say amen. 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 Numbers 13. Numbers 13. Let's look at verse number 17. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan. He said unto them, Get you up this way southward and go up into the mountain and see the land, what it is. And the people that dwelt therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many, and what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad, and what cities they be that they dwell in, whether in tents or in strongholds. Isn't that kind of peculiar that the Lord who knows all things, the Lord who knows everything, is inquiring of Moses, send them out uh, to see what's in the land. God already knows what's in our area. Uh, but we need to know amen. what's in the area. Somebody say amen. 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 And so verses number 20, and what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, whether there be wood therein or not, and, and be of a good courage. Be of what kind of courage? A good of courage. Of what kind? A good, a good courage. And bring of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of first ripe grapes. So they went up and searched the land from the wilderness of Zin unto Rehob, as men come to Hamath. And they ascended by the south and came unto Hebron, where Ahiman, Shishab, and Talmud, the children of Anak, were. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt. And they came unto the brook of Eshcol and cut down from thence a branch with the cluster of grapes. And they bear it between two upon a staff. And they brought the pomegranates and the figs. I want y'all to vision this now. Uh, Mama Descartes, this wasn't just grapes that they could carry with a cluster in their hands. But these grapes, Brother Paul, were so big that they had to put them on a staff, on a stick. Put it on the shoulder. One man in the front, one man in the back. To carry these grapes back to Moses. Are y'all getting that? Amen. Look at somebody and tell them, I want that kind of fruit. Yeah, look at somebody and ask them, can you handle that kind of fruit? Amen. Ain't no sense of plucking those kind of grapes if you don't have an appetite to eat or handle it. Amen. You just, somebody else could have got it. Amen. 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 Now let's look, we're almost there, verse number 24. The place was called the Brook Eshkol. Because the cluster of grapes which the children of Israel cut down from thence. And they returned from searching of the land after how many days? Forty days. Forty. After how many? Forty. Forty. Because the number 40 means that's enough. The number 40 means come on, it's over now, the end. So after 40 days of searching, God says you can come on back now and give your report. And when they came to Moses and, and to Aaron and to all the congregation of Israel to the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh. And brought back word unto them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sent us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Anak is a giant. We saw the children of the giants there. Mm -hmm. And the Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in... They all dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Look at somebody and tell them we're, we're well able to overcome whatever it is. Come on, look at somebody else and tell them whatever it is. We got this. We can handle this. Come on, say amen again. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. For they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that is eaten up 
with inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the son of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. Catch this now. Now Moses, they're, they're right at the place of coming into flagless states. And before they can come in flagless states, God tells them, send a few scouts and tell me what you see on this property. And some said, look, look, that's way too much for us to handle. It's too far of a drive. You know, that seven minutes felt like 30 minutes, Bishop. I thought you said it was 7.8 miles. Well, it felt like 45 minutes. My son, we were driving, he said, Daddy, that's this a long ride. I said, it's not the scenic route, son. Don't be fooled. There are no, nothing but bushes for seven minutes. It looks like a long way. Ain't nobody talking. Y'all come on, driving quiet. It seemed like forever. <laughs> Moses said, go anyhow and tell me what you see. They came over and, and they saw, look, man, look, boy, if it rained in there, it's going to be a mudslide. Man, that little old place, man, I don't even know if that can handle what. Maybe they ain't ready for me. I'll come when they're ready. This ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't said nothing yet. And so God says, look, don't be discouraged by what they see. Tell me what you see. Amen. Moses found some. There was Joshua and Caleb. Joshua and Caleb, y'all go check out the land. Joshua and Caleb, because it's our habit, even though they were the ones that were sent to go, they took some other folks with them. And the Bible says the ones they took with them had an evil report. It already had their mind made up against it. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Amen. And so the Bible says they, they went over and they say, look, man, we ain't, that's too much. It's already folk, man. Them folk ain't coming out. It look like the country boys. Look like this whole area. Nothing but country. Ain't no good coming out of this. We're going to waste our time. But Joshua and Caleb said, look, we can possess the land. Yeah. And whatever obstacles there are, we're well able to overcome them. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about it, but that's where my spirit is. Amen. My spirit is, is that we're well able to overcome whatever it is in this land. Amen. 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 And so in our transitioning out, I said, God, what are we supposed to do? What, what's the answer? Tell me. Give us direction. God said, I've given you a city in a city. Mm -hmm. We've given you five acres this way and another ten acres up the road. We don't know anybody here. But God said if we'll come and occupy, God's going to give us tremendous favor. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. Come on, it's not just about us having church. We can have church in a shoebox. Amen. We can have church in our front yard. Amen. Come on, amen, somebody. Amen. It's not just about having church, but the purpose is that there are souls in this area amen. that need to hear a word from the Lord. Amen. Number two, there are some warriors in the house. House that needs to walk in their calling. Amen. Need to move in their anointing. Amen. Oh God, I'm getting excited already. Hallelujah. And so we believe the report of the Lord. We don't believe the evil report. We believe the report of the Lord. And we're excited about that. Let me tell you how excited I am. We haven't raised offering yet. We're going to collect offering. Let me tell you how excited I am, Mama Descartes. Whenever we got ready to raise the offering at, at, in Bunnell, even though it was in Bunnell, amen, we knew that we had a $5,000 obligation. Yeah. So those little three, $400 we raised, and they were never going to get us close to what we had to do. Yeah. But in this location, Hallelujah. we raised $400, we already paid the rent. Yeah. Start becoming gas cards. Amen. Well, y'all ain't saying that yet. Let me try it. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. Yeah, yeah, because that's, that's, that's what we want to do. That's, that's, that's the kind of church we really are. You want somebody? I was sitting on the organ. I said, God, I, I sure would like to give a few folks some gas cards and start blessing people. But listen, when we when we become obedient to God, are y'all seeing it? Come on, God makes room not for just His will, but He'll see our desires in His will. Oh, God, help me in here. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about there not being financial pressures. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I'm, I'm excited about not getting to the routine and forcing you to focus on something greater than God. Right. Because there is nothing greater than God. Amen. Amen, somebody? Amen. Amen. And so my functioning this morning is, is the functioning uh, that you'll see for today. Amen. But next Sunday, you'll already have some folks in place. That's going to start walking in their positions. Going to start figuring out their callings. I see T just got nervous. She in the L T. Like, <laughs> oh no, here we go. <laughs> I thought I was going to get, you know, be able to hide behind a few folk for another year. No. <laughs> Look at somebody tell me, ain't enough of us for you to hide in this house. <laughs> 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 ain't enough of us to hide behind nobody. Amen? Yeah. Come on. We don't care if you bring out a sweat. Come on. I don't care if you got a ring under your arm. Nervous as they come. Come on. We're still passing you the mic. Amen? Amen. Amen. I don't care if you got to read it from the paper. Amen. Y'all ain't saying nothing yet. Amen. Welcome to New Found Fable Ministries. <laughs> we welcome you once. We welcome you once. We welcome you I don't care how nervous you are. You're going to get trained here. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And then we're going to get love here. Amen. Amen. We cannot move forward without unity. Right. And it's good. The numbers are perfect for us to find out who ain't unified. Amen. We'll find out who's selfish real quick. Yeah. It won't take us three weeks to know. We'll know next week. Yeah. <laughs> Look at somebody and tell them I hope you ain't the one. Yeah. 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 Sacrifice. Amen. Everybody becomes selfless. Yeah. Right. Amen. And when we start doing that, the unity will catch on board. Amen. Come on, we'll get so unified, Brother Paul, acting as the deacon. Amen. Brother Paul, you know what my, my, my fears were because uh, I don't know, you, God's getting ready, and we're going to start praying as a house in unity that God just start blessing with some cars. Anybody else in the market for a new car? Amen. Amen. We're we going to pray that. We're going to pray that, and it's going to happen. Amen. Uh, because wherever there is a cause, wherever there is a cause, if we can make it God calls, then God has to provide. Amen. Amen. And, and that ball, ball, thank God for it. It's almost paid for, but they got some issues. Amen. Tires. I, I was. I said, God, I don't want to drive that car on the road. Got in the church van. The church van overheated at the corner and turned around. I said, God, can't put that one on the road. Tierra car then broke down and I started, God gave me wisdom on how to drive and I drove it like a stick ship. Yeah. PJ said, oh, that's how you got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know the Lord be with us. Amen, <laughs> somebody? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. But as I was coming down the road, I said, God, I need to make sure that we're in such excellence and such unity that we got somebody posted up on the south side, somebody on the north side, and if somebody got missing in between, we already know it. Amen. Ain't nobody getting lost on this journey. Amen. Ain't nobody Amen. getting left behind on this journey. Amen. No, you made a commitment to us, we're making a commitment to you. Amen. And then somebody. And that's how we got to come together. Amen. We got to become a new kind of family. Y'all yeah. they say, I said another kind of family. Okay. You know what, that's real good. The kind of family that really love each other. That's real good. The kind of family that shows God kind of concern. Yeah. Yeah. You know what the Bible said? The Bible said that we ought to be the kind of family that if I hurt, you ought to hurt. Amen. Amen. Don't be looking at me and you got it going on and you know I'm, I'm in need. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Yeah. Tell me what we going to pray for you. No, don't pray for me. Help me out. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Amen, Amen. 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 somebody. Amen. That's part of the reason why I don't ask a lot of things because I just believe that love is what love does. Amen. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Come on. And if I got two nickels in, look, I ain't got to be a rocket science. If I know you ain't working, you showing up all the time, you doing this and that and the other. Come on. One of my nickels ought to be yours off the top. Amen. 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 Amen.
So we got to become a different kind of family. Amen. 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 And now listen, this is the other part. We got to grow up. Amen. 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 Amen
Amen. Well, Bishop, I thought you just said that it's going to be comfortable and we can handle it. Yes, and I also said if we're going to put no. things in place, we got to put works with our faith. Amen. Come on, we just can't believe God and be lazy. Amen. We can't be, just believe God and don't 